high profile geothermal water line breaks in downtown Boise have residents a bit concerned, especially since the city has plans to expand the system. 600 Sites McKenna King is live in studio with why the city says no worries. It looks like a scene out of Ghostbusters, but this is a picture taken from one of the recent downtown geothermal leaks. A combination of cool water, steam, and a green traffic light directly behind the leak. The city of Boise says it's a lot less dramatic than it looks. Boise's geothermal heat system has been in full operation since the 80s, and as usual, using water and metal is recipe for corrosion. But the city tells me they do their best to remain proactive and environmentally friendly. A lot of people walk the streets of downtown Boise and, and have no idea that such a big footprint of downtown Boise is heated with this renewable clean resource that uh, we take advantage of in a big way. It's a system that dates back to the 1890s when Boise began using geothermal heat for Victorian homes and the original natatorium. Then in 1983, Boise began the geothermal heat system, now holding the record for the largest geothermal system in the United States, bringing heat to 92 buildings in downtown Town Boise. That equates to about 6 million square feet. Primarily used for heating buildings. It's really a smart investment for Jump and for our community as it's a uh, low cost, uh, clean, renewable and local energy source that made sense on a lot of levels for us to utilize. But also heating the YMCA pool as well as sidewalks, providing shovel free snow removal in the winter. The geothermal water is pumped from a well in the Boise foothills. It's then brought downtown under underneath buildings and run through pipes like these where the water is sitting at 170 degrees. It's then put in a heat exchange where this heat exchange takes off about 55 degrees of that water to heat the building. Afterward, it's sent to a return being taken back to be redeposited at Julia Davis Park. That only started in 1999 before the geothermal water was taken out of the aquifer, then disposed of in the Boise River and aquifer levels started to decline until that reinjection site was made at Julia Davis Park, bringing aquifer levels right back up to where they began. The carbon footprint is all, is almost nothing. It, it relies almost entirely on electricity um, just to pump up. There's there's no fossil fuel being used, and so it's a really clean and efficient energy. And it also comes with a relatively relatively low price tag. As far as like a, uh, you know, our overall utilities, the geothermal is, is not a substantial cost for the city. The geothermal heating bill costs a mere $1,000 each winter month for the entire downtown area. And lucky for Boise, it's a system unique to the Western US. So it really comes down to where geothermal, um, you know, an aquifer is available. And so it's really, Boise is very fortunate that we have this aquifer right under uh, our streets. The city of Boise tells me they're looking forward to expansion plans and new innovative uses of the geothermal system. Live in studio, McKenna King, six on your side.